Hello there everyone and welcome back to how to make a mod in T-Mod Loader 1.4 This episode is going to be a bit different than usual If you're using the preview uh, versions of T-Mod Loader Which is what I use when modding uh, There's been a lot of changes to how Terraria Well how T-Mod Loader now uh, handles a lot of code so uh, if I click build and reload on our tutorial mod you'll notice that it's coming up with some errors so I'm going to be going through everything I've covered in the videos and what has changed so we're going to jump over to Visual Studio now and we're going to be starting with our world system so we're going to get an online here where it says uh, no suitable, suitable method to override. All we've got to do for this is just change the total weight from float to a double. And that's that. In our ore generation, world surface is now no longer a thing. So what we need to do is turn this into genvars.worldsurface this uh, class is still under the world building so you do not need to add a new uh, using uh, directive next up we need to go to our tutorial bar so as of the latest version which is uh, 2023.420. All the drops for stuff like these bars are now automatically done. So we just outright remove this and we save. So let me just check that that's everything. It should be. We could have done that, done that. I haven't got any of that, so it should be it. So if we jump back over to Terraria and we build and reload, our tutorial sword has an error. Uh, yeah, okay, interesting. So let's go back over to Visual Studio our tutorial sword we now no longer can use these it seems so we just do that save looks like everything is now done through the localization so let's head back over to Terraria again build and reload And this time it should work. So let's just go to mod, tutorial mod. Uh, we'll add our rare bar and our normal bar. So let's place our normal bar like that. Now the rare bar on top. So now if we break the there, it now just drops the there, and it drops the normal. So there is one more change which has possibly happened. So let's just go back over to Visual Studio again. If we jump over to our custom workbench did not mean to open that nope go away our custom workbench apparently we can get rid of this so I'm just going to comment that out jump back over to Terraria uh, build and reload just see if everything worked 
single player. So now if we place our custom crafting tile. Uh, tutorial, custom crafting. If we place this and we break it, it now drops automatically. So basically you can remove all the drop and uh, and uh, multi-tile kill code from all your tiles as that now does it automatically so there are some improvements but this is only if you're on the latest version it's also worth noting if you are on the latest version you want to make sure you have dot uh, net SDK 6 installed uh, otherwise you'll get an error message when you Click on develop mods. Uh, if you already have Visual Studio 2022 installed, there's a chance that you won't have uh, .NET 6 installed. You'll want to go to the Microsoft website and install it, assuming you're on Windows. I'm not sure about other platforms. Uh, if you're installing Visual Studio 2022 for the first time, there sh should be an option to install uh, .NET 6 SDK. If not, again, go to the website and download the installer for that. To check that it's installed, use the command prompt and do .NET uh, dash dash list dash SDKs. And if it lists version 6, then you'll be able to mod into ARIA. So that's covered this migration stuff. There is a lot of changes. I'll add a link in the description about the changes that have happened. Uh, until then, thank you for watching. Thank you.